Oh. Busy day? I'm learning to fly. Oh, okay. <laughs> nope, can't let that go. What exactly do you mean by learning to fly? Well, I just can't believe I've never flown before. Birds do it all the time and it just seems easier than walking. So you're just flapping your... You know you don't have wings, right? I could grow some. It's fine. Nope. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You can't just grow wings. Dogs didn't evolve with wings. Then I'll evolve some wings. That's not how evolution works. Then how does it work? Because I can try that instead. Well, it takes ages. Like, years, maybe. It takes so long, in fact, that for a while, no one knew it was even happening. Wow. Yeah, the first person to notice it was a human named Charles Darwin. I mean, other animals might have noticed it first, but they never wrote it down, so who knows? I don't. But what we do know is that way back in 1859, Charles Darwin published a book called The Origin of Species, where he explained his scientific theory of natural selection. It was his way of using science to explain how evolution works. He came up with the idea after he went bird watching on an island somewhere. Bird watching? Bird watching. He was watching the birds very carefully, and he saw that some birds were different to others, and their differences helped them catch food in different ways. Different how? Like different beaks and sizes, I guess. Maybe somewhere on the island where the only food was nuts, the birds had super strong beaks to crack nutshells. But then somewhere else on the island, where the only food was worms, they had super long, thin beaks to peck into the ground. Wow, how did the birds know to make their beaks different? Well, that's what Darwin wondered too. And that's when he started thinking about his theory of natural selection. You see, animals don't choose for natural selection to happen. It just does. But how? Well, okay, let me give you an example. Say there are two squirrels. <gasps> squirrels! Yeah, two squirrels. And let's say that you, a dog, start chasing them to catch them. Which squirrel would you catch? I could catch the squirrel that's not running as fast. Exactly right. So now imagine the squirrel that gets away, the fast one, has lots of squirrel babies. Well, those babies will be fast too. So when those babies grow up and you chase them again, they're all a little bit faster. You can still try and catch the slowest squirrel of the bunch, but the rest of the faster squirrels will get away again. And then they'll have babies who are even faster and so on. But then won't the squirrels just keep getting faster and faster until I can't catch them anymore? Exactly. They didn't choose to be faster, but over time the faster ones are naturally selected. So now they're all fast. So dogs must have never needed to fly. Because they haven't evolved to fly, yeah. But what if I need to fly? Maybe in millions of years you will. Oh, that's ages away. Well, that's how much time you need. It took billions and billions of years of evolution to end up with all the animals we have now. Wait, what? What? I thought evolution was just animals changing and getting faster, but does it make brand new animals too? Yeah, that's part of the theory, I guess. When there was first life on the planet, it was all the same kind of life. It used to be just a tiny speck that lived in the ocean. But over a very, very, very long time, that life divided up and evolved into lots of different life. It started leaving the ocean and living on land. And what started out as little differences became big differences. And eventually, whole new species started evolving from that first speck. That's why there's animals that are different, but kind of similar. Because once upon a time, we were all related. We're even kind of related to animals that don't even exist anymore, like mammoths or dodos. Or yetis. Not quite, but I love the enthusiasm. Are animals still evolving now? Very slowly, but yes. Even dogs? Probably. Huh. Busy day? <laughs> yeah, I'm just practicing breathing underwater. Oh, okay. <sighs> No, no, I can't let that go. What do you mean practicing breathing underwater? 